So welcome to Siemens S7 1200 tutorials. In this lesson, we'll see bit logic operations on positive and negative edge. Okay, positive and negative edge, and after that, we'll have an example of that. So let's see what is this positive and negative edge. So let's start with a positive edge, scan operand. Now, what does this mean? If you see the symbol, it's similar to NO contact, but with a P in the in the middle. It, it indicates positive, okay? It says the state of this contact, let me take a pen. State of this contact is true when a positive transition off to on is indicated on the assigned bit I0.0. The bit M0.0 .0 will be on for one clock cycle. Okay, so it sounds complicated, but try to understand. It says this bit will be true if you have a positive transition on I0.0. .0. It means this input, which is connected to the PLC here, and if we have a switch here, if this switch goes from off to on, okay, this is the off state, and on the top, it's the on state, okay? So if you have any input connected to our first input, which is I0.0, .0, has off to on, which is which is just like pressing a switch or getting a signal on the sensor or could be a pressing of a limit switch. If that state goes from off to on, there will be a pulse detected at M0.0. .0. This bit will be on, this bit will be on for one clock cycle. This is here. So a physical input, I0.0, .0, get will be scanned and if the result is from off to on, this bit will be on for one second, for one cycle. And this cycle is typically equivalent to your PLC scan cycle, okay? If your PLC scan cycle is for, let's say, five millisecond, this will be on for five millisecond. Okay, simple as that. So this is a positive edge. We'll see later on what will be the application of this bit, okay? So let's see another. This is negative edge, scan operon operand with have which has an n in the middle so this is a contact again this is the input now here we have an input i0.1 okay so i'll take a pen yeah now this is this could be my second input i0.1 if this input has now it has on to off transition okay on to off transition which means this is if this is already on if if this goes off at this particular instant at this particular instant this bit m0.1 this bit will be on for one clock cycles it means in both the cases you will have this bit they will give you a pulse like this both this bit will give you a pulse its duration is equivalent to plc scan time but this pulse will occur if you have on to off transition okay and this pulse will occur if you have off to on transition and here it's, it's it's incorrect it's not positive it's negative negative transition then you have this clock pulse okay so we'll see its example so let's let's proceed so the only difference is it is having a uh, pulse on positive transition this is having a pulse on negative transition okay and it says that the P and N contact can be connected anywhere in the network except at the end of branch. So this means you can, if you check your letter, you can connect that anywhere. Let me switch to my letter. You can connect anywhere except at the last end of the branch. So this can be connected anywhere, okay? So let's see one timing diagram to understand this better. Now I have an example here. This is I0.0 my first input i0.0 .0. if this goes on the moment you press this button or any input this goes on you have a pulse of m0.0 .0 here this is the positive edge okay on to off and as i told you this duration is equivalent to your scan time okay duration of this pulse is equal to scan time now this is a negative edge it means when you turn on i0.1 nothing will happen because this I0.1 is a negative transition. But when you turn off this bit, at this particular moment, you have this M0.1, another edge. So it is, again, a edge which is going from off to on. It doesn't mean it has a downfall edge. Negative edge doesn't mean it has a downfall edge. It is not like this, okay? It is, again, a positive edge, but occurs at negative edge of your input, okay? Try to understand that. That's how it makes a difference. This comes at the start of the pulse. This comes at the end of the pulse. That's the only difference it has, okay? 
So let's move ahead. The question says, write a logic to latch the motor when I0.0 .0 goes from off to on and unlatch the motor when this is this is I0.1 goes from on to off. Okay, this is off to on, this is on to off. So you can imagine that this one is off to on, this one is positive edge, this one is on to off, this is a negative edge. Okay, and this is I, this is not U. Okay, so now we have two switches here, just like we have it in the PLC. So what could be the logic? It's very simple. You take two edges, positive edge, and you latch the motor with a positive edge. Now this latching will happen because the set command need a pulse for its operation okay and you can unlatch it using a negative edge of the motor so let's try that in our Siemens DIA so I'll take first bit not this bit I will take a positive bit this one this you can also take from here bit logic operation and here's the bit you can take it from here as well so here comes my input which will be scanned I0.0 and here will be the bit so I'm using M0.0 this is the internal bit of my PLC internal memory bits you can use it as an auxiliary relays okay to this I'm using to set the output which is Q0.0 and in the parallel here I will take a negative edge so negative edge will come here from and uh, this will be I0.1 and this I'm taking 0.1 memory 2 this is not the emergency I will rename it as B and this I'm using to reset my output Q0.0 okay so I have my positive edge to set the output negative edge to reset the output so what will happen if I turn on this one this will be set if I turn off this one this will remain set if I turn on this one nothing will happen but if I turn off this one this will be reset so let's check that. I'm downloading this to my PLC. Load. And I have to monitor. And here comes the PLC. Okay. I will keep it I will keep it here. Or maybe well, this is not visible. Okay, I'll keep it here. Or what I can do is I will make it float. And I will keep my PLC here. Okay, now this is fine. So this is my first input and these two inputs are on. I'll put it off. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. First, I have, I need a pulse from my first input 0.0. .0. So I will turn on my input. And you can see that my output is set because I gave a pulse. And this is true. Okay, now I will turn on my second input. But nothing will happen if I turn it on. Why? Because it's a negative edge, which is on to off transition. Okay. So when now this is on. Now when if I turn it off, a pulse will come which will reset the output. So this is on to off. So it will output will be off only when the input goes off. Okay. It will be a little tough to understand this if you are learning for the first time, but I will try to make you understand this logic more in our factory IO exercises which you will find in the end of the section. This is a factory IO factory automation example which I'll be using to make these commands you know easy to understand to make more sense to this course. I'll be using the software. All right so this was uh, a basic about positive and negative transition and if you want to see its FPD solution it's much similar you have this block with P and you have the addresses I0.0 .0, similar to this one and if I take a pin now this part of the logic it's here and this part of the logic it's here this is a positive this is a negative this is used to set the output and this is used to reset the output so this is much similar when you switch from letter to FPD uh, because it's, it's more similar in programming just the representation is different okay so this was about simple positive and negative edge now let's look at another example it says bit logic instruction P trigger and N trigger. Its function is more similar but it has a different application. Now it says the Q output power flow or the logic state is true when a positive transition off to on is detected on clock power flow in letter diagram. So this is the input where it needs positive transition. Now here we don't have any input here. 
just like in the last one we have an input here but here we don't have any input besides we have we can have a logic here so it says scan RLO result of last operation okay so result of last operation here will be considered to make transition so let's see an example now we have two inputs a and b so it's i0.0 i0.1 these are connected in parallel and its output is given to this p trigger so now the, this p trigger will give you this will give you a pulse if this is true or this is true okay if any of this is true this will give you a pulse just a pulse okay so because this is uh, off to on so if this is off to on you will get a pulse or if this is off to on you will get a pulse okay so this is positive edge trigger similarly we have a negative edge trigger which is called n trigger scan RLO in this case you have a negative pulse not a negative pulse but negative triggered pulse in this case the difference is when you have let me check it yeah when you have on to off pulse at any of this input x or y this will give you a pulse so this is off to on okay you can see that this is off to on but this is on to off pulse as what we understand in the last exercise so this is the example for that so let's take a look at the example of this instruction in the next slide write a logic to latch the motor when either of i0.0 or 0.1 goes from off to on positive edge and unlatch the motor when the either i0.2 or 0.3 goes from on to off negative edge so here is the example two are connected in parallel this is going to p trigger and this is going to set motor and these are negative trigger going to reset the motor okay so this is pretty easy so if you see its example in fpd it will look like this two gates connected in parallel or p trigger and motor so now this time i'm going to make this logic in fpd and we can check this logic whether it's working or not okay so we have two inputs to p trigger two inputs to n trigger so let's move to our software and i'll go monitoring off delete this logic yeah and we switch to fpd from here okay so we have two inputs in and so i'll go to take an and gate here i will write i0.0 0.1 okay now the output goes to p trigger so i will find p trigger here it goes to p trigger and here i have to give an address memory bit which will be giving you a pulse and the output goes to set Okay, it is going to set the instruction, set an output, which is motor, could be a motor, Q0.0. So this logic says when any of the input is true, there will be a pulse which will set the output. Now we need to reset the output with negative edge. So we need another AND gate. I'm giving two another inputs, 0 0.2, I 0 0.3. I can change it to rename. I can write stop one. And I can rename that to stop two. Correct. Now I need a negative edge here. So I will take negative trigger. I will put M0.1. You must remember that these addresses should not be same. If you are using M0.0 here, you should not use it anywhere else in the program. Take another bit. Then you will take a reset. Q0.0 the same address okay and you can rename this tag motor so the logic is complete let's download this and check this on our PLC load so this is downloaded and I need to turn on the monitoring Okay, I need this float window so that we can see PLC and logic all together. Okay, this is fine. I hope this is visible. Here's a PLC. Okay, now I will turn on my first input to check this logic first. I'll turn on I0.0 .0 and we'll have a positive edge. 
and our output is on you see this is not green now because the edge will come and it will go so that's true because i is 0 i is 1 now this goes false but output remains set so output is set now i will reset this output using my i0.2 this input so in the plc you can see that the input is true and the output is reset not reset yet because it's a negative edge so when i turn off this input this will be reset like this okay so now i will try in the second case with this input 0 0.1 this will set the output because this is in our connection so output is on now i will turn on my this input i 0 0.3 with the negative edge this will be reset this is on now i will turn it off the output is off so in both the cases we have checked that that the positive edge of i 0 0.0 0 0.1 is going to set the output and negative edge of 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 will reset the output this was the objective of our question in the presentation which we have just resolved so this is about rising and falling edge in our Siemens S7-1200, so let's review this lesson. We have learned that the positive edge contact is true when the positive transition off to on is detected on its operand. Operand, this is operand, this is, it will just detect the, uh, detect the address, one single address. Negative edge contact is true when the positive transition on to off is detected on its operand. This is again incorrect, this is, this is negative here. Sorry for this inconvenience, this is negative, okay? Next it says P trigger contact is true when the instruction detects a change in the result of logic operation from 0 to 1. Result of logic operation, okay? So you can have multiple uh, contacts in series or parallel to check that, okay? This is only for oprint, but this is for result of logic operation. Could be a, a series of um, inputs or a parallel, so this is the difference. Similarly, N trigger is when you have a result of logic operation from 1 to 0. Okay, so these are the, this is the difference between two types of P trigger and N trigger. I hope this lesson makes sense. And of course, it's application you will find in Factory IO video, which will in this in this section. So thank you for watching. And if you need a copy of this presentation, you can find it in the course. I'll see you in the next session.